Now, I know what most of you are probably thinking. Why in the flying battery are you making a video on the Egg Dragoon? There's much more pressing matters in the Sonic fandom to discuss right now, like Frontiers, Prime, Sonic's quill length, I hear that's a very healthy discussion. So why am I taking insert video length to talk about some random boss fight from Sonic Unleashed? Well this thing is so fucking cool man, and if people are allowed to make a half hour video on Sonic fucking box art, then let me have this one, okay? The Egg Dragoon just never gets talked about. It doesn't have the icon status of something like Chaos or the Death Egg Robot, nor does it have the infamy of something like Zavok or the Nega Wisp Armor. People just write it off as that final Werehog boss in Sonic Unleashed, when it's so much more. It's one of the best examples I've ever seen, of how story placement, arena design, music, and all that boring staging junk can truly make an experience. Cause guess what? I've never played it. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. I've never played the Unleashed Egg Dragoon boss fight. In fact, I've barely even touched Unleashed as a game overall, actually. But that only strengthens my point, because while yeah, I'm sure it's fun enough to play, I've not heard anything bad about the gameplay, everything surrounding that gameplay is what I believe makes this thing truly special. When I was six years old, and barely understood what a Sonic even was, I felt the exact same way as I do now about just how awesome the Egg Dragoon fight is. And when a literal child can pick up on all the cool elements, I think you've done something right. So, let's stop hyping it up and actually look into all those cool elements, shall we? We'll start with a basic description of the fight. You've just beaten the gauntlet of a level that is Eggman Land, Sonic and Chip are kind of just... standing there? Uh, what? And then Eggman shows up in a shiny new mech, cracks a big ol' hole in the floor, and the boss fight begins. You're stationed on this flat platform that's descending at about a million miles an hour down to the Earth's core. You've got to run around this thing, dodging the Egg Dragoon's various attacks, fighting off some egg fighters he sends out, and getting up to this green glowy part and giving it a bonk. So, reason number one why I like all this so much. Fucking look at this thing! This has to be one of the coolest robot designs Eggman's ever come up with. I mean seriously, we went from just a bigger, fatter, more metallic version of Eggman to a mobile death trap. It's got a machine gun arm, which can double as an ice shooter, a drill arm which can fire off as a projectile and cover some serious ground even when it is attached. It's got these tactile little pincer feet, a protective shield, retractable wing units that can be commanded remotely, and it's got so many spikes that Sonic himself is probably a little jealous. If you've rewatched Unleashed's opening cutscene way too many times like me, you'll also notice a striking resemblance to the mech Eggman was piloting in that. Now that thing never got a name, and it's clearly not just a reused model, since it only exists in that CGI cutscene, which was animated in entirely different software, so I have to believe it was included to show Eggman's intelligence in a really nice, subtle way. They already did this earlier in Unleashed. After you fought the Egg Beetle and the Egg Devil Ray, you take on the Egg Lancer, which combines attacks and weaponry from both of those previous bosses. I think the same thing happened here. Since these two aren't an exact copy, Eggman seems to have taken what worked from that unnamed opening mech, namely the machine guns and the designs Sonic didn't even bother fighting till he turned super, and added in a bunch of extra stuff to try and ensure his victory this time. Design iterations to improve performance. It's basically just the Omnidroid from Incredibles. <laughs> That's cool. However, this is all maybe torn apart when you remember that he calls this thing The Ultra Hyper Prototype 1! Maybe this one was the Ultra Hyper Prototype 0? I don't know, that feels like a stretch. I really wish they'd had him say Ultra Hyper Prototype 2 here just to round that whole little concept out nicely. But oh well, it's still canon in my head. So yeah, that's the Egg Dragoon's design. Pretty fucking great, right? Well, I don't know if you noticed, but in Sonic games, when you get a really good Eggman robot, you also get a really good theme to accompany it. The Death Egg has the... The Egg Viper has the... And Metal Sonic has... well, take your pick. So what does the Egg Dragoon get?
Ah oh, man, I love this theme. It captures the bombastic idea of, I am fighting a man named Eggman in a big deadly mech suit as we both fall down to the Earth's core, while also really capturing the intensity of, I am fighting a man named Eggman in a big deadly mech suit as we both fall down to the Earth's core. And it keeps switching between the two ideas as well. You've got moments like this, which highlight the fun side more, And then there's bits like this, which really highlight the grandness, and honestly make this fight feel like it could be Sonic and Eggman's final encounter. And that's another thing I love about this boss fight. Sonic and Eggman aren't playing around this time. Sonic's usual hit it a couple times and let it blow up on its own mentality completely gets ignored here. This time he's ripping chunks off of the Egg Dragoon, he's smashing up parts, and he even lays down a punch on Eggman so hard that it cracks his protective glass. And then Eggman... Fucking hell I love Eggman in this. He's unhinged this time. He finally built up Eggman land like he'd always dreamed, then Sonic came along and very casually tore it all down. That got to him, and you can tell. For one, he's firing actual machine gun bullets at Sonic this time, as opposed to something like energy pellets like usual. For two, he's sending Sonic down to the Earth's fucking core, that's a pretty definitive death sentence. And for three, just listen to some of his lines. Even you won't last long against this one! You were lucky, Sonic, but luck can't last forever! Stop a little intrusion! Give up and die already! He's talking about death. This isn't fun and games anymore. He wants to kill Sonic this time. And even Sonic can see that, saying, Jeez, Eggman, simmer down! And then it all culminates in a very subtle but very cool line reading from Mike Pollock, when Sonic's caused the Egg Dragoon to shake uncontrollably for the second time. Lost control again? Don't fall apart on me now! That little dip in his voice when he says don't really shows Eggman's desperation in this particular fight, as well as the genuine terror of his machine failing and having to face Sonic's unhinged wrath. Am I looking too deep into what was entirely possibly just a voice crack? Yes, but it adds to the experience, so shut up. Also, speaking of voices, if anyone's already played this then you'll remember the you hear like every five seconds. It's definitely this boss battles. You know what they say, the more the merrier. I don't mind it personally. I think it fits Eggman's personality that he doesn't even call Sonic by name, just refers to him as an annoying little thing. And him angrily growling it fits his mindset for this fight in particular pretty well. In fact, in the Wii version of Unleashed, that line's always followed by a way more intense second reading. You little, you little. I wish that was in the HD version, honestly. It really just cements Eggman's mix of desperation and anger during this fight. Uh, that's all you're gonna get me to say about the Wii version, though. It's a downgrade in pretty much every other way. Especially the Egg Dragoon's design. It, why's it got this dumb fishbowl on its head? That's just fucking Mysterio. Anyway, you've battered the Egg Dragoon, you've dodged missiles while free-falling to the Earth's core. That's such a cool fucking moment. And you've ripped off these two... thingies. I'm not really sure what they do. Eggman warns you that this is a delicate machine, but over half of the fight takes place without them, so... narrative dissonance? And it all culminates in- No, wait, hang on. Hi, uh, editing me here? Yeah, so I was watching the footage back and I realised what those things do. After Sonic yanks them out, the Egg Dragoon loses its shield. Uh, you never see that little hologram graphic again. How awesome is that? They even went as far as thinking what the shield generators would be. Uh, now why they're on the sides of the mech and just exposed like that, I do not know, but hey, they do have a purpose. Uh, anyway, back to the video. And it all culminates in Sonic climbing up the Egg Dragoon, laying the smack down on Eggman, then tossing him away Team Rocket style. This also gives us one more great desperate Eggman line. No, no, yeah. And that concludes the Sonic Unleashed Egg Dragoon boss fight. I hope you'll now agree that it's fucking awesome and deserves way more recognition. But that still leaves us with one simple question. If this Egg Dragoon fight's so great, why is this video still titled negatively? Sonic Generations released in 2011 and was made to celebrate the 20 years of history that Sonic had at the time. This was done by remixing old levels, making multiple Sonics playable, and what we'll be focusing on today, bringing back the most iconic boss battles from across Sonic's history. 
They divided things up into three distinct sections, or eras as the game calls them, and gave each era two boss fights. Genesis era stuff got Metal Sonic and the Death Egg Robot, Dreamcast era got Shadow and Perfect Chaos, and Modern era, which was everything post-Heroes, got Silver and the Egg Dragoon. Some of them are great, some of them are a bit weak, and I'm gonna be honest, I think the Egg Dragoon's one of the weaker ones. Not in terms of gameplay, I've also never gotten this far in generations, so I can't really comment on how the thing plays, and from what I can tell it's fine anyway. But again, I'm talking about everything surrounding the gameplay. Cause it's just not got the oomph surrounding the Unleashed version? That experience was heightened tenfold by the unhinged anger and desperation that you could feel from both characters, whereas the Generations fight just kind of feels like the usual 1-2 rhythm of any old Eggman battle. You know what I mean. Those times when Eggman's really out to get Sonic, but the two are constantly back and forthing, and almost seem to be having fun trying to beat each other. Like, look here, Eggman's even saying, Not bad! Whenever Sonic hits him. Like, no, where's my give up and die already? Now that was always gonna happen to some degree. The whole plot of Generations is that things from Sonic's past have been ripped out of time and space, so of course most of the bosses were gonna lose whatever emotion they had in the moment. However, I'd still argue this affects the Egg Dragoon more than some others. Like, take Metal Sonic, for example. He literally is just another robot Eggman made that Sonic doesn't give two thoughts to before destroying. Yeah, he's become more than that over time, but the original Stardust Speedway version that they used in Generations was just another boss fight, so not much has been lost from the original fight's context in bringing him over to Generations. Ah, oh, man, it's just like, everything's been lessened a little bit. Like, instead of firing off a massive bolt of ice that lingers as an obstacle and even covers the entire platform for a split second, now he's just firing these pathetic little spurts that Sonic can easily jump over. And instead of using his drill arm to cause a massive radius of damage, and occasionally firing it as a last ditch effort to obliterate the platform Sonic's standing on, now he just rapid fires it like any other projectile. It's very easy to dodge, and it does absolutely nothing to the arena you're fighting in. Or how about that gunfire? That intense gunfire that very closely followed Sonic as he ran and added a lot to the tension? Literally never shows up. In fact, that entire arm's basically worthless. The most you get out of it is this little fire strip he shoots out at the start, which just acts as an introduction to the Egg Dragoon. It's never even used again as an actual attack in the fight. In fact, speaking of the introductions, well, this is a downgrade. In Unleashed, we got a whole cutscene demonstrating this thing's destructive capabilities, and then right as the fight starts, it does a cool little spin and then pretty quickly thrusts you into that intense gunfire. In Generations, Sonic's just running, very casually. And then Eggman fires this little fire strip, somehow misses at point blank range, then does a little twirl, fires an easily avoidable drill, and hovers in place so the boss intro can conclude. Wow, I mean, I'm just so intimidated. I mean, your previous version literally gave me a one-way ticket to the center of the planet, but hey, this little twirl will definitely put the same level of fear into me. That brings me on to the arena you fight in, which is again, say it with me, a downgrade. I keep bringing it up, but I really can't overstate just how awesome the backdrop for the original Unleashed fight was. You were on a chunk of destroyed Eggman land floor, hurtling at a million miles an hour down to the magma east center of the Earth. And then as the fight progressed, you got closer and closer to that center, landing on a smaller platform made of weak rock, with the planet's core itself now being the background scenery. In Generations, you're... in a tube. Just a random tube. I mean, yeah, it's technically located within the Earth's center, but I'm sorry, do these two images give off the same feeling of dread? One has constant verticality leading you downwards, with no barriers stopping you from just slipping off the side of the platform. I mean, ignoring invisible walls, but you know what I mean. Both are really nice, subtle details that add to the impending peril of your situation. A generation's lacks both. This tube is way too over-designed for me to feel any threat of the lava underneath. It's got multiple layerings, and this really industrial feeling metal, and the only way I even know it's above lava is because of these small bits of glass that act as flooring. That I'm barely even going to notice because I'm focused on this big robot in front of me and Unleash got it right by having the background be behind the robot so you'd subliminally notice it even when your eyes were directed in front of you. Ah! At the very least, this tube should have been made almost entirely out of glass. Hell, maybe even have an environmental obstacle being some parts that are shattered and have lava streams bursting through. And the complete lack of verticality doesn't help. Again, Unleashed achieved a continuous sense of dread because you were always falling down, closer to the magma. Generations has you running forward, for the entire fight, with absolutely zero threat of you ever getting closer to what's below you. 
I mean, there is this one bit where you hit a time portal and start free-falling, but it's set entirely within the tube. There's not even any glass showing the outside core for this bit, so I don't exactly count it. The last few things to mention for this iteration of the Egg Dragoon fight would be the music and the design, because both got the tiniest of changes. The Egg Dragoon's redesign I actually quite like. They took this bottom half that served basically zero function before and turned it into a detachable mini-mech that Eggman can move down into, while the top half shifts into an obstacle course for Sonic. It also just doubles as another point of control for the overall mech if Sonic starts wailing on the top half too much. I like that. It keeps the original spirit alive and adds more versatility to the robot. Good shit. And to make it actually work as a detachable mech that would look good on its own. Because if I take the original and remove this bit, uh, yep, that just doesn't look right. They added big spikes to both sides of the control box, nicely keeping in theme there, as well as giving the mech this little tail at the end. Now, not only does that make this thing actually look good on its own, but you know, that kind of looks like a dragon. A very unique take on a dragon, but I can kind of see that being a robot inspired by a dragon. They actually justified the dragoon part of the name! I mean, I love this thing, I really do, but who at Sonic Team looked at this and said, ah oh, yeah, that's an egg dragon right there. Oh no no, actually, add an extra O. Let's be quirky here. And then there's the music, which I really don't understand. It's literally the exact same theme as before, like same composition, same melody, same everything, but just lesser. Like, I can't describe it any better. They literally just lessen the theme. I Just take a listen. Like, why? I mean, I guess it fits in with Generation's whole theme of lessening everything about the Egg Dragoon's intensity, but why was that even a theme in the first place? Like, if you're gonna remix the Egg Dragoon's theme, actually remix the Egg Dragoon's theme, don't do this. This is literally just the same theme, but worse. Just don't bother if that's all you're gonna do. But anyway, that's the Sonic Generation's Egg Dragoon boss fight, and I really don't know what happened here. It's not like anyone was ever complaining about the original fight, people liked it just fine, there was no need to change any of this. And that's the most confusing part, they didn't even change that much about it. It's still set in the planet's core, it's still got 99% of its signature moves, it's still got the kick-ass theme, everything's just been... downgraded. But not even by that much. There's such minimal changes that take away from the experience just enough that I feel like they were put in exclusively to piss me off. But anyway, that's that. After Generations, Sonic Team moved on to fresh new ideas and fresh new bosses to face. Um, kind of. So obviously the Egg Dragoon was a thing of the past. It did its job rather magnificently in Unleashed, was brought back in Generations because Sonic Team needed a boss fight to represent modern Sonic, and after you take a moment and look back through everything post, like, Heroes, you realise just how forgettable all of Eggman's robots have been. Yikes. And obviously we wouldn't see the thing again for a very long time. Not until, like, some rush job of a game where Sonic Team had barely any time to put the thing together, so they needed to reuse a bunch of shit from previous games without any rhyme or reason, because they literally didn't have the time to make new assets. But that was the ways of old Sonic Team. They wouldn't make those mistakes again. They'd learnt from that now. Right? Together. Sonic Forces. That's it. That's all I have to say. You know what kind of quality that entails. Is it the worst mainline Sonic game? Well, there's certainly an argument to be made. I mean, yeah, on a technical level, it's leagues better than something like 06. But 06 at least had... ideas. What's the most original idea to come out of Forces? Um, uh, we have an angry villain, but we can't decide if it's a robot or an angry guy. It, fuck it, the game ships next week. This game commits so many sins just to have something to put in the marketing. And the one we'll be focusing on today is the complete spit in the face to all the old bosses it brings back. Specifically... The Egg Dragoon. Now, Generations was a downgrade. I don't think anyone could argue with that, but at least it was only a minor downgrade. It was still set in the right location, did most of the right moves, had roughly the right music. It was pretty much there. It just left a bad taste in my mouth because I'm the world's biggest Egg Dragoon fan, so any minor changes were going to annoy me. But still, let's make it clear, this is fine. It's pretty much the same, it's completely fine. Well, how about we chuck the Egg Dragoon in Green Hill and just call it a day? This boss fight sucks. It's pathetic. It's not even a full Egg Dragoon fight. The level's called Versus Eggman because he's the main thing you're fighting here. The Egg Dragoon's just reduced to a second phase in that fight. 
that's not how it should be. This thing was very carefully designed to be an excellent counter to Sonic. It shouldn't just be a backup robot when the fucking ball and chain doesn't work. And then what it actually does in the game, which is just as pathetic. The gun fires back, which yay, woo, cool, but then of course it lacks almost all of the intensity it once brought because we're in 2D. I mean look here, when classic Sonic drop dashes to the other side of the screen. I remember when you had to put some actual effort into dodging this gunfire, it can barely keep up anymore. Not to mention you can literally skip every instance of it after this first wave. Okay, so he chucks up some rocks that you need to bounce back in, a cool extra use of the tail, I guess. But the thing is, if you leave a couple rocks there, when he leans forward to start the gunfire again, you can just bounce them towards him, which then completely skips the entire gunfire phase. I... was that... intentional? Was it an oversight? I genuinely have no clue. Anyway, I already mentioned the rock up chuck, but when the rocks are in place for you to bounce on, he starts rapid fire shooting the drill towards you. It's, again, very easy to basically skip this entire phase. Literally all you have to do is bounce on the left rock right as he aims the drill and he won't even start shooting them. And then the Egg Dragoon has the... Oh no wait, that's everything. That's all it can do. No ice blast, no detachable mech, no obstacle course, no drill sweep, no robot summoning. Verticality is a long gone concept at this point. They couldn't even bring the fire strip back. That one would actually work in this fight. Make him sweep it across the floor and you have to jump at the right time. You could have at least done that. And the atmosphere is completely lost. I remember when we had Eggman sending Sonic down to the planet's center with full intention of finally killing the bastard? Yeah, me too. Good times. Now instead we get this. Got a lot of nerve for a pint-sized Sonic from another dimension. He's trash talking. He's having fun fighting classic Sonic. He's doing the very thing I was praising the original fight for not doing. Fuck you, Sonic Forces. Look here, at the end of the fight, when he acts completely nonchalant about losing the Egg Dragoon. This isn't any kind of loss for Eggman. This isn't any kind of major victory for the good guys. The Egg Dragoon has literally been reduced to nothing more important than one of those classic boss fights. In fact, with the rocks being the only real obstacle you can't entirely skip, this might as well be the fucking Ice Cap boss. It's that inconsequential. And the music. I don't think I even need to say anything. Just listen. Now it's worth mentioning that this is apparently the Egg Dragoon Mark II, that's what it's called in the soundtrack, so maybe I shouldn't be comparing it to the original so much. This is a separate machine after all. Yeah, well, when you're building a successor to something, aren't you meant to improve the thing? Add more features, add more defenses, just generally make it better? You know, like they already established in the very first fucking encounter? The only reason the Egg Dragoon was included in Sonic Forces is because they had a model ready in Generations. This boss fight plays to none of the mech's strengths, removes so many features that it's barely recognisable, and has even less story importance than this OC I just made called Fuck the You. This isn't just a bad Egg Dragoon iteration. This is a murder. You've successfully stripped away every single thing that made the mech unique and cool, and reduced it to even less than a classic Sonic boss. The original Egg Dragoon boss battle was something special. A dangerous, intense, awesome little finale to Sonic and Eggman's journeys at that point. And over time it was lessened more and more until it became nothing but an empty corpse. A husk of its former self. Puppeted around by people who only used it in the first place because it was a convenient option. I hope we don't see it again for a very long time. And I hope it only comes back when people using it want to use the Egg Dragoon and everything that made it special. And if you agree, I don't know, leave a comment or something? I don't think it's showing up in Frontiers, thankfully, so there's nothing you can really boycott. Uh, just tell Sega to reconsider if you get any hints of it coming back in like a mobile game or something. Also, major shout out to Gamer Knuckles. She did this amazing Egg Dragoon art I used in the thumbnail. Seriously, her Twitter's in the description. Go support her. Now. Also, also, here's everyone whose footage I used somewhere in the video. Uh, thank you all very much for posting that online so I would one day use it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. You can find me on Patreon and Twitter at NickNockYT. And hey, according to Sonic Law posting on Twitter, that weird little mobile version of Unleashed actually got a version of the Egg Dragoon too. Huh, I've never seen anyone talk about that one. 
I wonder what it's like. I want to fucking kill myself. Rose, and I'm here to talk to you about- <laughs>